Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, I want to help you find derivatives of a function using limits, okay? So remember that when we're taking the derivative of a function, we need to compute the difference quotient and look at the limit as h goes to zero. And what we'll end up with when we're all done is a new function that represents the derivative. So let's go ahead and jump into my example, see what we have. So I want to find the derivative of 5x cubed and see what that function is. I've already got uh, the limit of my difference quotient over here, so we need to carefully put in all of our pieces. So we'll look at the limit as h goes to zero, and then I need to put in x plus h into my function. So everywhere I see an x here, I'll replace that with an x plus h. So 5x plus h, whole thing cubed, minus, and I have the function just as it is, so 5x cubed all over h. Okay, looking good. Now to continue simplifying this and hopefully be able to do my limit a little bit later on, we must expand out this cubed. So imagine taking x plus h multiplied by x plus h multiplied by x plus h. I've already done this ahead of time, so we can save ourselves a little bit of work. So x cubed plus 3x squared h plus 3xh squared plus h cubed minus 5x cubed all over h. And of course, we are still figuring out what that limit is. Okay. Now, to go a little bit further with this one, we're going to have to distribute our 5 in with all of these terms. And we got lots of them in here. Let's take it to each and every one. So the limit, as h goes to 0, let's see, 5x cubed plus 15x squared h plus 15xh squared plus 5h cubed minus 5x cubed all over h. All right, fortunately it looks like there's a, a little bit that we can cancel. So I have this 5x cubed here and a minus 5x cubed on the back. So both those are gone. All right, so now I just need to continue simplifying the rest of this. Well, I've already written that down, so let's continue on with it. Uh, one thing you wanna notice is Everything in the top has an h, and there's a single h in the bottom. So we can factor out an h in the top and eventually cancel it out. Let's see, let's borrow an h from everyone in the top. 15x squared plus 15xh plus 5h squared all over h. All right, so now I can see that this h will cancel in the top and in the bottom. All right, so what are we really taking the limit of now? Limit as h goes to zero of 15x squared plus 15xh plus 5h squared. Okay, so we can finally do this limit and we're looking as h approaches zero. So each one of these h's, they're going to be zero. Now as for this first uh, 15x squared, it doesn't contain an h. So we're not gonna touch it, okay? So this guy has a zero, it'll be multiplied by everything, zero. Zero squared multiplied by five, zero. And now we can finally see the result, is simply 15x squared. So now we can say that the derivative of our function is 15x squared. And just like that, we're done. Now in the future, we'll learn many different rules for uh, taking a shortcut uh, to the derivative so we won't always have to go through the limit. All right, if you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.